Okay, this is lab 4.2.6. We are going to troubleshoot some boot issues. So we have a computer that came in, has these specs. So three SATA drives, restoring data, one SATA optical drive. We have replaced the power supply and now the computer won't boot. So we need to diagnose the problem. And we know we are successful when it boots into Windows. Okay, so our clue here is that we have replaced the power supply. So let's check everything with the power supply and make sure we're good there. So I'm gonna zoom in. First thing I wanna check is the back. Let's make sure we have it plugged in. That's connected on both ends. It We need to turn it on so that power we need to do and um, I'm guessing there are some other issues but we could try to turn it on right now and maybe I'll just try it just to see maybe it was as simple as as turning the power supply on okay still won't turn on so we have some other issues so let's look at the motherboard okay so we know it was the power supply so I'm going to click on the power supply and let's see what's not connected in here. Okay, so right here we can see our CPU power is not plugged in. So if I don't know where that is, I can look at the motherboard and open up the info, but it's almost always up here in the top left. So I'm going to go and plug that in. And the clue is, where is your CPU? The power for the CPU is gonna be close. They're not gonna try to spread that out and make that power go all the way across the motherboard. So we have our CPU plugged in. Let's take another look here. Our 24 pin is plugged in. How about our hard drives? So those two are plugged in. This one doesn't have any power. So I'm going to come down and grab the SATA power and get that guy plugged in. Let's look in the other drive bay and see. Okay, so this guy has power and it's connected and it has its SATA cable that's connected on both sides. So we, I think we have everything plugged in with our power. Let's turn on and see what error we get now, or maybe it'll work. Okay, all right, so no bootable device is found. All right, so that means we're not seeing hard drive that has the OS on it. So let's jump back out, go to the workbench, and let's take a closer look at our hard drives. So I'm gonna go into the motherboard and look at these three first. So I already checked the one that was in the drive bay and it was fully connected. Let's click on these. Well, look at this, it's partially connected. So that one did not get reconnected. So I'm going to drag that over and put it in that first slot for the drives. Let's check this one. That one's connected. This one is connected. I already checked the other one. So maybe that was it. Let's go back to the front. We'll turn off, turn it back on. Normally doing that, you would want to unplug the power and go back in and do that but in this lab we're okay well we have windows spinning so i think we're probably going to be good i'm going to go ahead and hit score lab and we are good to go thanks for joining me